Hello everyone. Uh, here I replace in Nichicon use capacitors on my best of the best decks Sony TC555 uh, ESA. And as you may see, I return back uh, back to back capacitors uh, because these woods are polar capacitors. So I will install 22 microfarad and install 22 microfarad back. Uh, in theory, it may give a little bit more bass. But uh, when I tried Nichicon, they already has lots of bars and stack it like back to back has been a little bit too much. Again, I keep this one microfarad because they are just stabilized voltage on the uh, Dolby processing circuitry. So not a big deal. Okay, so see this big two is uh, 100 microfarad. And the red ones are 22 microfarads. Okay, you should be good. Next, we'll be recording board. Oh, well, guys, here is my 555. And I just completed replacement of electrolytic capacitors with uh, polymer capacitors. Now we'll install playback board. And we will listen to it. I hope it will improve on the sound. See you soon. Hey guys, and uh, here I'm just completed all the upgrades, tuning. Our deck is fully set, and I'm uh, testing the frequency response just for the case. As you may see, it does a great job. I tested the levels, so on the all range, the change from the levels is half decibel comparing to the original um, brand new K3 on the staples recorded. So it does pretty great job. The sound changed dramatically. I will make recording from the bolt uh, sound to be like I felt that there are some, uh, maybe a little bit not enough high frequencies now sound is like very linear and very good same as from the cd player i recently restored so that's that's really cool results okay i have to stop music sorry for that um what else sound change it with these capacitors uh, i feel it's like linear uh, very well articulated and balanced. Would be interested to, uh, to learn what you would be able to hear after YouTube will cut off lots of stuff. So now let's let's check the Type 2 tape if it will be working the same. And we going up. Yeah, see, it keeps pretty well. Well, good. Let me assemble deck and then I do a sound demo. See. And here, guys, I'm recording with new capacitors on the chrome tape. So it will be switching source and tape. So here is the source. And here is the tape. No change at all. Full range. On minus 20, let me see minus 10. Source, tape, minor, very minor change around 12 kilohertz, uh, and minus 6. So, source and tape. Yeah, I believe about two decibel drop. And if you will change to pink noise and to zero level. So here is the source. And here is the tape. Yeah, perfect results. Now I will check with uh, metal tape. And normal tape, so start from normal.
Okay. So that's the source. And that's the tape. Yeah, you see, on the normal tape, we have a drop significant after 16 kilogears. So it cannot reproduce fully. Let me see calibration. Yeah, we need to adjust level and bias a little bit for this tape. No. Now let's see, that's the source. And that's the tape. Uh huh, you see, only after 16 kilohertz. So there is a small drop. All right, good. We can check with the white noise. Minus 20. It's a normal tape, you would not torture it much. So here is the source. And here's the tape. Almost no change. Good. So I believe this deck is perfect now. See you in the part with the sound demo. Guys, one more thing. The last thing, <laughs> I promise. That's the wow and flutter after half a year of use. 0 0.021 same as dragon exactly the same that's cool